40, 40, 40, uh-uh, no, 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 no. Bring it in, 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 bring it in. Okay, let me holla at you, right? So, this battle rap, it just never ends. So 40 bars did not battle Coffee Brown on Queen of the Ring, right? So she spoke on her caffeine show, Salute to Let's Talk Battle Rap. And everything that they got going on, they usually keep people abreast of what's going on in the battle rap community. They make announcements, they make posts, things like that, right? And 40 Bars made a statement. She was on her caffeine show. Now, um, you know, there are people who have caffeine shows, but I'm going to just keep it a buck with you. You know what I'm saying? Because I up with you. Nobody watches caffeine outside of battles. Maybe a couple shows here and there, but I don't know anybody who's sitting around waiting for somebody to go live on caffeine. I'm just being honest with you. Caffeine's off of me shows more than once, I turn them down. Because you can't rewind, like you can't go back. It's not like YouTube where if you miss something, you can rewind and watch it again. It just don't happen like that. You just have to watch it when it happens and then it is what it is. So, summary, she said, uh, before the battles I get super anxiety and it's a thing with me before all my battles and I completely effed up my ability to come and do my job as a battle rapper. I did not physically feel I was could stand in there and rap my bars. I don't need any sympathy. I'm just telling you why I was unable to do my job. I respect you all as viewers, consumers of the sport, and I apologize for not doing my job. Moving forward, I'll try my best to rectify the ah, right. Listen, all right, so here's the deal. Anxiety. There are people out there that suffer anxiety, depression, PTSD, a lot of other traumatic um, situations that go on in their lives and they're not able to perform in certain avenues. So, I understand, you know, I understand what you're saying and I hope all is well with you and your family, you know what I'm saying? I know 40 Bars has been a pillar in female battle rap for a number of years and she's been able to deliver, you know? But the pro, I'm gonna tell you what the problem is. The problem is, you have a whole pay-per-view production. Queen of the Ring is coming. There's always a problem. Like, it's crazy how so many times something happens with Queen of the Ring. The only times really Queen of the Ring in recent history has been able to really run nation and get it right is when it's attached to caffeine or right next door to URL. Like, yo, uh, we running this. We doing kings versus queens. We doing something on caffeine. That's when things... Been and then even when 40 Battle hustled, Things got crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like she walking around and they not able to rap and then the Miss Miami gets into the, f like it's just always something and this is part of the reason why it's so hard for female battle rap to elevate and get the respect. You got so many women out there grinding, that's working hard, but then you have fights and then you have this and then you have no shows and then you have ghostwriting allegations and it just be so much to where niggas be like, all right, cool, that female, but it's cool, but it's just like a, a side show to battle rap. And it's sad that the women who are really nice can't get their just due because you have people like doing shit like what 40 did. There are a lot of people who commented on this situation. Jazz the Rapper commented on this situation because she's one of the leaders in female battle rap. And a lot of other females have commented on this situation and did not like the way it went down. Jazz the Rapper said, I wish she would have said this the day of the battle or even the day after. Niggas had to wait five days in speculation. It's actually six because it was Saturday. Then you had Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today's Friday. Six days in speculation. It just sucks because now this can happen at any time. Yes. And it's crazy. I was talking to um, Coffee, right? Let me get, oh, I'm bugging, right? We How we going to be well here if I ain't got the L here? Like... So I was talking to um, Coffee Brown, like around the time that the uh, the battle was supposed to happen, and I'm gonna send this to you, 40, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So I was talking to Coffee like before the battle happened, and she said, I was like, I just wanna know what happened. Like if this was you, niggas would've cooked you, you know what I'm saying? Like what, I just wanna know what happened, like why didn't battle happen? She said specifically, She's probably gonna pull a Ben Simmons and say mental health. Y'all would have slow roasted me. And we spoke about the other thing, but that was just the... Yes, this is like the Ben, she pulled the Ben Simmons. And it's like, if you, if, 
the way she was promoting the battle, like she's doing videos, she's trolling her, she's like all of this, all the way up until the day of the battle. Like, the day of. Like, you, you, you're doing it the same day or the day of or the day before, and you're showing up to the battle, like you showing up, you popping out, you pulling up, and you're not rapping. Because you're talking about you nervous. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or you got anxiety, man. I understand, and it makes it, it makes it difficult because when you're in another big battle or you, when you have another person that you're gonna battle, is this gonna happen again? Are you not gonna be able to prepare? And I just speak for the people who lost, there's people who lost money, there's people who copped this pay-per-view stream expecting you to battle and the battle didn't happen. There's people who got paid deposits, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure Coffee Brown got a deposit. I'm sure you got a deposit. Flights, hotels, all of this stuff was booked with the premonition, with the pretense of y'all actually battling. And it didn't happen. And then you have a Chrome 23 event that happens like a week or two, a couple weeks. First of all, when you took the battle, I automatically first thought, this is mad soon. Like this is mad soon after you just battled on Chrome 23. Uh, Debo went out his way to contact like the media. He hit me up and it was like, yo, I got the trailer. He sends me the trailer and all of that. Before, like he's definitely going out his way trying to promote and trying to get the battle out there. And these leagues don't be calling like niggas to send the trailer. Like, motherfuckers, URL's not gonna call niggas early and be like, yo, we got the trailer here. Or RB's not gonna call me in advance and like, yo, I got uh, Hitman versus Briz, here's the trailer. Like, they're not gonna do that. They promote their own way. But Debo was like going out of his way trying to make this happen. And it didn't. And I know a lot of the times Debo takes flat, you know what I mean, for whatever the case may be. But he's not the only one that's in Queen of the Ring. It's Debo, it's Babs, it's Vague. But Debo is the is the figurehead. He's the one that's the most visible person. He's always at all of the battles. He's on stage. He's making things happen. So Heavy is the head that holds the crown. So he takes the L for what happened. But dog, you can't wait till six days later. Like, if you, you was better off not saying nothing at all by this point. Like, at this point, you could have just let niggas speculate and it would have just been what it was. But, you know, I get what you're saying. Right message, wrong time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just took way too long. It, you, the battle happened. There's been so many, like, it was a whole nother card that happened since you and her didn't battle. The, any given Sunday was the next day. Yo, you had Danny using your shit. What did Danny say? Atlanta, can I ask you a question? I let the Desi spray. Will there be panic in this room if I back up with the 40 like she did yesterday? A bar God, Danny Myers is bar God. Oh shit. Um, and the people deserve the update because I know everybody is not on Twitter. Everybody's not, you know, and everybody's not tapped in like that. You know what I'm saying? There's people who's really like got jobs, got families that don't really have the time to be on some battle rap shit every day of the week. They just don't. They don't got the time. You know what I mean? Like and they just watch blogs. They'll watch a blog, they'll get the information, and they'll keep it going. Some people be riding in the car, they turn a blog, going, yo, what up? They hear what's happening, and that's it. But 40, you got to clean that shit up. Like people, and the reason why people are going hard on you, because niggas got mad respect for you. I respect what you do. Uh, you know, I fuck with your, with your style, with how you break bars down, like how you do your thing. But this is, it was not a good look. Like, it's just, it, it's not, period. You know, Coffee Brown deserves better. And then you have Miss Hustle tweeting our Grandmaster plan worked and all of that shit. What was the Grandmaster plan? I, I, was she gonna jump in your round? Like now I'm starting to think like, was she gonna jump in your, it's either she was gonna jump in your round or you wasn't prepared. Like I don't even think he was prepared. I really don't even think he was prepared at this point. Like when I, when I see something like this, I don't even think he was prepared. I don't think he took the battle seriously. And you know, Coffee Brown was elevated. She's doing her thing. She's getting a lot of recognition, you know, and you know, probably was like, yo, fuck that. She ain't getting this battle. She don't deserve it. There was, I heard speculation that a lot of y'all felt like she didn't even deserve the battle. Like, oh, since she don't deserve the battle, I'ma just throw this shit and she ain't even gonna get to see me. You know what I mean? Y'all might not never do that battle now. Cause Coffee might say, fuck it, I ain't doing it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't wanna see you. That Jazz, that she called out Jazz and all this other shit. But this is part of the reason why, you know what I'm saying? Like when y'all be asking, why the sport of female battle rap is not taking it serious? Why niggas ain't blogging as heavy on feet? Cause, Cause of shit like this. It was the Super Bowl. Now you wasting time. I went out my way, during the Super Bowl, I'm blogging about the battle, about the trailer dropping, and I'm doing blogs and wasting time. 
And y'all niggas don't even battle. So when sometimes like leagues will hit you up and want to promote battles and shit, I'd be like, man, I catch it when it happens, if it happens, because like, it just the energy, like it's it's it's, it's it. like when Kings versus Queens, you know that's gonna happen. Geechee's gonna be there. Jazz is gonna be there. Every like that happens because it's caffeine produced. It's like that shit's gonna happen. You battling on caffeine versus Sue Surf, it's gonna happen. You're gonna be there. You gotta treat the niggas like Queen of the Ring who helped you come up. You gotta treat them with the same respect. You showed up for Chrome 23. That was a bigger stage, a bigger look, a, and, and with strangers. You know what I'm saying? Like Remy, you don't know, y'all niggas don't know Remy Ma. Like she she put on an event, y'all did it. If you show up for strangers, you gotta show up for your people who was there from you from the beginning. That's all I got on this. Y'all niggas stay up. You know what I'm saying? Get paid. Gang. Blah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>